All right, hi folks, welcome back. My name is Simone. I'm a professional pencil artist specializing in realistic and hyperrealistic portraits. And today I'll teach you how to draw hyperrealistic wrinkles. Before we start, I suggest you to watch my previous tutorial about the skin texture because you'll find some key concepts that will be extremely helpful to understand this video. So check it out, I'll leave the link in the description. All right, let's start from the first step, the base tone. As I already told you in my past videos, I always start with the base tone. I use my brush dip into a chalk deposit to create the first layer. In this step, you just need to focus to draw the right values and privilege smoothness and transitions. This step is fundamental, so take your time and be sure to achieve a good base tone before moving forward. Sometimes the brush dip into the chalk deposit can't achieve a deep and dark value. It means that you need to reinforce darker tones directly on your paper by adding few light strokes with a chalk pencil. Stay light and soft and don't push with your pencil. After that, blend everything with your brush to achieve a smooth effect. So, uh, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and I try to split my drawing process into different stages. Obviously, uh, this is just my way of drawing, my approach to realism, but I guarantee you that it works pretty, pretty good. By the way, the point of this lesson is uh, to give you some key concepts that can be applied uh, in any drawings. That's why I'm not using any reference to draw my sketches in this tutorial, because I just apply the basic concepts to draw almost everything. Once you learn these concepts uh, with practice, uh, you will forget them and everything becomes natural. Now I don't need to split my drawing process in steps and follow them one after the other because everything has become natural and, uh, and automatic. But when you are a beginner, you need to follow a guideline and more important, understand the key concepts. So this, uh, this is the real purpose of these tutorials. Understand concepts, practice and make them uh, automatic. Step 2. Skin blemishes. Dip a Q-dip into the deposit and draw skin blemishes. This process will give you a more realistic look and can be considered as a deep level of the skin uh, texture. Step 3. The texture. So, what are wrinkles? I took the English dictionary and I found a definition. Wrinkles are small lines in the skin caused by old age. And most important, wrinkles are small and furrow or crease in the skin, especially on the face as from aging or frowning. In simple, there are two kinds of wrinkles, skin depressions and skin folds. In this tutorial, I'll draw the skin depressions, while the others require a different, uh, completely different method. So I'll start with the darkest wrinkle texture. As I already said, uh, the texture follows the same direction as the form where it lays on. I'll use an 8B Stellar Mars Lumograph Black uh, to draw this pattern. And I'll use uh, a charcoal for the darkest spots. I'm thinking about an old man cheek, so the texture will be pretty much vertical and a little bit rounded. Step 4. Shadows. So I call this step shadows, but uh, I should call it volume. One of the most important rules in drawing is uh, each shape object casts a shadow. So this rule works even for the skin texture. In this step, I will add uh, darker values on the right side of the wrinkles. This creates the illusion of roundness and volume. Step 5. Blending. So I'll blend everything with a Q-tip, try to achieve a smooth and a soft effect.
Step 6. The lights or light areas. As I already said, each object casts a shadow, but now it's time to set all the lights. You can use a Tombow Mono Zero eraser or a needed eraser to put some lights on the left side of the wrinkles. This will be the edge that gets hit by the light source. Step 7. Blending with a Q-tip. As you can see, the lights are too strong. Blend everything with a Q-tip to reduce the values. Step 8. Final touch. Reinforce darks and light spots and add all details to your work. Okay, this is pretty much everything about wrinkles. As I already said, these are just the first type of wrinkles you can find in a portrait. These are the skin depressions. In the next video, I'll draw some skin folds and I'll try to split my work into a step-by-step -step tutorial. That's all for today. Take care and see you soon. Bye!